Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. I'm here with Craig Campbell, um, head of Nerd Burger Games. Uh, thank you for joining us again. And today we're going to talk about Low Stakes, your latest Kickstarter RPG. Uh, what is this uh, RPG about? Um, well, it's it's uh, it's for Zine Quest, so it's a uh, it's a, sm a small scale kind of thing. It's like a little five and a half by eight and a half book that'll be thirty some pages, and it's uh, it's inspired by the the movie and TV show What We Do in the Shadows. So uh, yeah, if you look at Manny's uh, background, um, I didn't have one handy. I've got knives out behind me, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it, it the 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 game replicates, I, I seeks to replicate anyway, um, sort of uh, that uh, the, the the TV show um, primarily in that it it's uh, you'll you'll play a vampire or a werewolf or a ghost or maybe a human, um, and you're all sharing a house together in the modern day, and uh, you're not terribly good at it, you know, and and uh, sitcom hijinks ensue. The, the 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 game book includes um, like a number of outlines of just kind of gen general sitcom storylines that you know like uh, that you you might see commonly in a lot of different sitcoms, and you can use you know just play with those outright, or you can use those as guidelines and just kind of um, improvise everything yourself and just kind of build stuff based on you you know what's going on with these characters um, in the house. Oh, okay, so should I assume that uh, when it comes to like character classes or, or character species that you can be it's very similar to what you would see in the show either uh, vampires or their their familiars um, that's typically what you'll end up playing is like a gothic type monster or maybe a human um, but the the character playbooks that are in the game are not specific to the monster type like you can be whatever monster you want to be within the playbook um, and the playbooks are things like um the anachronism so the, an anachronism is um like um nandor um who is you know who's who's like a very very old vampire and he's he's out of time he doesn't understand the modern day he's kind of stuck in the past um uh you know uh one of the other um playbooks is the peacock and so that's very laszlo he's like he's all about, he's flash and flamboyance and like look at how wonderful i am and you know, in Laszlo's case, he's you know kind of a sexy <laughs> vampire who who uh, who loves his sexy wife um, and and all the sexy people out there. Um, so yeah, the uh, the the it's it's more the, the the playbooks are more along the lines of um, kind of character uh, archetypes that you might see in a sitcom, and then within each of those, you could play you know so you could play a vampire who's a peacock, or a werewolf who's a peacock, or a ghost who's a peacock. Okay. Now, for those that are not familiar with Zine Quest, uh, what what's the amount of material that are, that's going to be in this exactly? Is it just just to make a character and, and some story elements? Uh, is there like game master tips? Uh, what would, what would backers expect to see? It's pretty much a uh, a full self contained um, game. The uh, there's it, the game itself is GMless. Um, and so everybody plays a, a character and you can use those outlines to kind of guide yourself through the story. So there's not like a whole GM section, um, but there is a discussion of um, the, the kind of the rules of improvisation and the idea of uh, like when someone brings something to the table, when you're like, if you make up something about your character or, or the house or the situation or whatever, that everybody else sort of accepts that and goes with it. Like it's the, what people refer to a lot of times in improv as yes and you accept it yes and you add to it and build um and that's of course you know within the boundaries of whatever um you know if, if you've set boundaries with the group that you're not going to go down certain paths um into you know into certain content that some people don't want to deal with you you can you're, you're you're within your rights to to say no to that and back it up and get and not do that thing but otherwise you're kind of a lot of it is going to be improv and you're going to be just reacting to what other people come up with and then coming up with things on your own that other people are going to then have to react to and it all you know the it, it's built around the idea of escalating problems within um a sitcom sort of situation oh, okay and is this uh, very rules light it's very rules light uh the only time you make any uh dice rolls are when you are dealing with your problem areas um, every playbook has things that they're not terribly good at, 
So when you want to try to do something that's like, you know, just something that you are just not skilled at, um, you'll, you can make a check there in order to try to, to accomplish that. Um, or you can also end up making checks in order to um, gain influence over the other roommates. Because, uh, you know, like if anybody, if you've lived in a roommate situation or, at, you know, even if you've just watched a, a TV show or something where there's roommates, there's there's always something to be said for like, I, uh, you know, if you want to be kind of the one who's in charge um, and kind of have a chance, you know, be able to um, have influence over other characters. And there's, there's uh, different ways that you can do that with, um, in the game, they're called clout skills, where you're going to gain clout over everybody. Oh, okay. What can you tell us about the, the art for, for this? Uh, the art is uh, done by, um, Ashley McCammon, who I found online. And uh, basically I put out a call for people who really love what we do in the shadows. Um, and I went through, you know, a, a bunch of different artists and found Ashley um, who uh, kind of specialized. She likes doing um, historic stuff. She likes like, you know, doing characters that are in historic um, outfits and, and, and so forth. And since we've got characters in this game that are from past eras, um, it gave me, you know, it gave her the chance to to draw like a vampire that's like dressed like a 20s, um, uh, uh, like a, a, a 20, well, not 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 a, not a gangster, but you know, like a uh, dressed a 20s, 1920s style. He's got like the, you know, the fancy suit and the, the fedora and everything. And um, there's an, you know, a, a, one of the one of the characters on the cover is like um, a vampire that's right out of the 70s. Like she's still got like the big fair hair um, and big wide collars. Um, wide stripes on her shirt so um yeah and the it, the the, the, uh, the artwork is um you know intended to be just kind of inspirational and it's it's each one each piece has like a little bit of of humor to it um, oh, okay. the game is you know kind of geared toward um comedic storytelling okay and this is coming out february 2nd yep the kickstarter launches on february 2nd it'll run for a little over two weeks um, cause that's the basic, uh, deal with the, with the zine quest stuff. They like to keep it, um, uh, as short campaign. So it's just a couple weeks long. Okay. All right. Excellent. Is there anything else about, about this that I haven't asked that you want to share? Uh, well, you know, for those, for people who are fans of the, of the TV show and the, uh, and the movie, um, amongst the various, uh, playbooks, um, and maybe people have to kind of try to guess because it's not always really clear with some characters. Um, but each, you know, each of the playbooks is inspired by, um, a character from the TV show or the movie. So, um, a lot of the main characters are represented in there as well as some recurring characters. Excellent. <laughs> there's, there's eight of them. So there's, there's quite a few options, different, different types of characters to play. All right. Excellent. I will, I will put the link to your Kickstarter, um, and the description below. Uh, thank you so much. Um, for our viewers out there, definitely check out nerdburger.com. They have some really uh, unique and, and fun games that are uh, available to play, you know, capers. Uh, one day we should talk about capers one day. We should have an interview about that. Uh, sure. Because that's, that's a fun book. Um, I, I, I received my copy a few weeks ago and I'm just loving it. Um, but um, yes, uh, viewers, thank you very much for watching. Please be safe and have a good day.